Hey there, YouTube. Today we finally got a break in the weather. It's been raining and pouring for the last several days. So I'm going to head up to the airport and just go do some flying. Uh, still a bit overcast, uh, broken clouds, uh, but the winds are low. Uh, so we got a couple of days, at least today. Um, let's see how it goes. So this is something I don't really understand. I mean, I get it because, uh, but not a lot of people fly in the afternoon or evening. Whoa, fuel flow, that's not... That looks really low. clear now I mean big bumpy clouds and such but uh, let's go for a couple of loops around the pattern or something automated weather observation zero one zero zero Zulu wind one six zero at five knots visibility more than one zero Tracy sky condition six four at three thousand three hundred temperature one one Celsius dew point Seven Celsius altimeter two niner 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 inches of mercury. Tracy traffic centurion five zero three off a of tango taxi from the south side to the north side via Delta Tracy. So there's some snow up on that hill over there, which is kind of cool. We're gonna go south. We're gonna face into the wind and do our little run up here. And nobody's coming in on 1-2. Uh, Turn the strobes on, lights, camera, action. Tracy Travix, Centurion 503, Alpha Tango taking runway 1-2 for a straight out departure to the south. Tracy. All right, 1-2 on the, on the runway, 1-2 on the dash. Full power, make full power. Instruments are green or yellow. Airspeed is alive. We are at 65 knots and we are, there we go. Now we're off the runway. We're coming up on Delta. We're running out of runway, so gear coming up. Arkell Approach, Centurion 503 Alpha Tango, just off of Tracy, about uh, five miles south, 2,500. Uh, Going to be maneuvering in the area, traffic advisories. Number 530 Alpha Tango, squad 0374. 0374, and that is 503 Alpha Tango. Number 503 Alpha Tango, radar contact, five miles southeast of the Tracy Airport, Fox and altimeter 3001. 3001, 3 Alpha Tango. Uh, 
and let's go ahead and cruise us out. Whoa, fuel flow. That's not. That looks really low. Oh yeah, it changed the numbers. It is a very pretty evening. Nice and calm. I'm turning around right now for 3 Alpha Tango. Roger. leisurely flight uh, around the town, around the house, around this uh, other town over here, dodging some clouds, watching the sunset. After this, we'll, Good evening, precision 72, 13 .8, descending 8, we'll go ahead and do a couple of uh, takeoffs and landings at the... Uh, precision 72, North Cal approach. Good evening. The Stockton altimeter 3001. Say approach request at uh, Stockton and advise when you have the weather. We have the current weather and if we can do the ILS 29 right there at Stockton, that'd be great. Precision 72, roger clear, direct uh, SIMS. Direct SIMS, precision 72.
this is something I don't really understand. I mean, I get it because, uh, but not a lot of people fly in the afternoon or evening. I mean, the, sure, it's almost dinner time, and it is getting darker, and I have had an engine almost quit after dark. But there's hardly anybody on ADSB. There's nobody around here. There's nobody on the radio right now. It is a great night. Gorgeous sunset. Few clouds, but you know, it's I actually would have expected it to be a little bit bumpier because of the clouds. And we are three thousand feet. Over Tracy, over the Delta, they're Stockton right over there. Delta right in front of us. There's a few planes over at uh, Byron right now, which is on the other side of that lake over there to our left. It is very wet out there. So we'll adjust the K factor again. I put full fuel in it. I'll fill it up the same way right now and have it readjust. I'll have to look up what the K factor is exactly, but it has to do with the fuel flow, the number of pulses. I believe that the fuel uh, sen sensor senses for how much gallons each pulse of the, or how much of a fraction of a gallon that means. Pretty sure that was what it is, and it's counting the pulses, and then it calculates that into fuel flow in gallons per minute, gallons per hour. And we're cruising along here at, uh, with 28.8 inches at 2400-ish uh, RPMs, 2390. Should be doing about 17 gallons an hour if it was set correctly. So I messed that up. But I messed that up by saying automatically adjust the K-factor based on the fuel load. Because it was already messed up and it was saying, oh, you burned 40 gallons when I really only burned 30. So now I think it's gone the other way and it's gonna say, hey, you only burned 10 gallons when really you burned 30. We shall see when we get back to the airport tonight and I fill her up and if it's accurate or not. The fuel flow load. Number three Alpha Tango and uh, how much further west did you plan to go? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn uh, south uh, west a little bit here. i uh, got to duck down, uh, but yeah, head back towards Tracy. Number three Alpha Tango. Number three Alpha Tango, right? Basically just testing the boundaries of your uh, area there for three Alpha Tango. Oh, you found him. I knew where the southern boundary was uh, because it's right at basically Crow's Landing. Uh, so it looks like the northern boundary for this particular sector is right there at the uh, Antioch Bridge. Let's uh, stay out of Byron's airspace. Uh, let's go track up. So Byron's right over here. I don't want to get too close to these clouds or those mountains. I especially don't want to get too close to the mountains and the clouds at the same time. But what we'll do is we'll head back to Tracy. By then the sun will be down. And then we'll do three takeoffs and landings after like one hour after it goes down. And then we'll put the plane away. We'll fill it up, change the K-factor. And then we'll be nighttime current and we're also IFR current. 
Look at that. So there's a little lake right here. And then the sunset. I don't want to go too far over that way because clouds and, and mountains. But I did want to show you this sunset right here. Go ahead and start slowing the engine down, cooling it off a little. There's Livermore. Um, hopefully nobody's in the approach to Livermore. There is somebody... Number 3 Alpha Tango traffic, 11 o'clock, 4 miles southwest, south and 100. I'm looking for the traffic, 3 Alpha Tango. Alpha Tango, you are converging with that traffic at uh, 10 o'clock and about three miles. Uh, they're at 3,000 indicated. If uh, not in sight, turn 20 degrees right. Uh, he's in sight now for 3 Alpha Tango. Thank you. Uh, there's that other one. November 3 Alpha Tango, it's left traffic now. They've climbed at your 12 o'clock mile southbound altitude indicates 2,600. Also in sight for 3 Alpha Tango. Thank you. Crazy traffic, Centurion 503 off of Tango is nine miles northwest uh, along I-5, or 580. Uh, I'm going to maneuver for landing at Tracy. Tracy traffic, Centurion 503 off of Tango, four miles to the northwest. Uh, going to cross midfield, uh, 1,500, enter left downwind for 26. Tracy. As the light continued to fade, I landed at Tracy. Then I performed a bunch of loops around the pattern with full stop taxi back in order to update my nighttime currency and proficiency. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.